This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Netflix and my surprisingly much deeper voice. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. This is the show where you could ask me, John Rettinger, any question you have from the wide world of technology. Not sure what cell phone to get, don't know whether or not it's time to upgrade your tablet. This is where you can ask that question. Up this week on Ask the Buffalo, we're going to talk iPhone 5, iPad mini rumors, when you should get and bring in the new iMac, and possibly some Kindle Fire 2 talk. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's go ahead and get started. Zach Livingood wants to ask, Hey John, I'm in the market for a new tablet. I'm thinking about getting the Nexus 7, but I'm not sure if I should wait until the alleged iPad mini comes out and keep it all Apple. Or what would you do? So that's a really tough question. Uh, the iPad mini is rumored, we've heard it rumored for quite a while. The newest batch of iPad mini rumors having it coming in at under 8 inches, presumably 7 inches since my math tells me that 7 is less than 8, and launching sometime in the September-October time frame. But it's very hard to gauge one real product against one hypothetical product. So I get this question all the time, should I get an iPhone 5 or a Galaxy S3? And the answer is, I don't know. We don't know what features the iPhone 5 is going to have, and the same thing is true with the iPad mini. Presumably, it'll be running iOS 6, so you know what features that's going to have. It'll have a smaller screen. You know it's going to have all the App Store goodness that all of Apple's products have. You know you're going to have the same experience you've got on an iPhone and an iPad, presumably just on a smaller size. The big question mark whether or not it's going to have some sort of HD retina display screen or just be a low resolution fare aimed at a lower price point. For my money though, 200 bucks for Nexus 7 is a great deal any way you shake it. That tablet's real, we know it exists, I've played with it, it's extremely capable. If you want something now and you want something to enjoy, go for a Nexus 7. Worst case scenario, pick it up now, you can sell it used, perhaps when the iPad mini comes out, maybe just lose 100 bucks in the deal. At least you have something to use for the next few months. Hopefully that helps answer your question, Zach. User, that fine young guy wants to ask, Hey John, I was thinking about getting a new iMac. Should I wait or will a refresh be coming soon? Well, rumor has it that a refresh iMac will be coming again in that October time frame. It seems October is going to be a very busy month for Apple. Looking at iPhone 5, possibly an iPad mini, maybe even an updated iPad. Regular size iPad, I know, just came out. Perhaps we can see a new update to that. iOS 6 hopefully will be come out to mass market. Looking at Mountain Lion, a lot of stuff coming. So we're going to see updated processors, a bump to Iger Bridge. We'll see USB 3.0 put in there. We'll probably see an extra Thunderbolt port added as well. Hopefully we'll see a Retina display. A 27-inch Retina display sounds crazy. Crazy awesome, but still crazy. You know, those panels that we've got in the existing iMac versus what a Retina display 27-inch would be would huge divergence or maybe it'll be a smaller size than 27 inches. Moral being, definitely wait. If you waited this long, wait a few more months, upgrade RAM, whatever you have right now to try and get an extra couple months out of it, but you're absolutely going to want to hold out till October to see what Apple's got in store. Hopefully that helps answer your question. User Josh wants to know, do you think Amazon is going to bring a bigger Kindle Fire for the second generation or just a slight redesign with better specs to compete with the Nexus 7? So we are on the dawn of a next generation Kindle Fire. Presumably we're going to see it at the end of this month, which is July. You can definitely make some educated guesses what the Kindle Fire is going to have. Quad core, access to Amazon's incredible library of games, of movies, TV shows, books, stuff Amazon really knows, higher definition screen, and possibly a front-facing camera. What we don't know is if we might see a bigger cousin to the Kindle Fire. A 10-inch tablet has been rumored for quite a bit. I used the first Kindle Fire. I thought it was novel. I liked that Amazon was trying to do their own thing and keep their own ecosystem. For me, it was slow. It was sluggish. The screen hurt my eyes. If I had to pick a tablet, though, between the Nexus 7 and what's rumored, you know, I think I'd still stick with the Nexus 7. Now, certainly it's the same thing I just talked about. You can't pit one existing device against a device that's not out yet. But it's going to be hard to see something be better than the Nexus 7. A combination of Android 4.1, which the Kindle Fire 2 most definitely will not ship with, is just tremendous improvements. And they're all very subtle, the smoothness of the operating system, how quickly things work. The Nexus 7 still would be the tablet to pick up. And just download the Kindle app. And speaking of ways to watch movies, I want to take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Netflix. Netflix streams TV shows and movies directly to your home saving you time, money, and hassle. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch TV episodes and movie streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV with your Xbox 360, PS3, or your Nintendo Wii consoles. Watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want, and cancel anytime. If you want to give Netflix a shot, you've been thinking about trying it, but you're not sure if it's right for you, 
We're gonna give you a free 30 day trial. Go to netflix.com slash buffalo, give it a shot, get your movies on, go ahead and watch the first season of Mad Men. That's what I've been doing with it. It's just a great way to watch all the movies that you meant to watch, the TV shows that you missed. Go ahead and check them out, netflix.com slash buffalo. Let them know we sent you. User Kirkata12397, he or she asks, hey John, I wanna ask you about the new iPhone 5, what we might see, and if it's going to be the mother of all upgrades. Zoomably, we're gonna see LTE on board. Finally, none of this HSPA plus 3G slash fake 4G. We're gonna get true high-speed data. We're gonna see a bigger screen. Gone is the antiquated 3.5 inch display we've seen now since 2007. We are going four inches or possibly bigger, 16 by nine aspect ratio. So when you watch videos, say goodbye to those black bars, the top and bottom. iOS 6 most definitely is gonna be here as well, bringing things like Passbook and hopefully NFC with it as well. You can sort of see that iOS 6, when you're doing using it on beta on the iPhone 4, I said it wasn't made for that phone. Passbook is relatively useless without an NFC capabilities on it, so I think we're absolutely going to see that on there. As far as giant, sort of life-changing, phone-changing, paradigm-shifting things, no, it's gonna be evolutionary. So if you know the iPhone now, and you like the iPhone now, but you want some of those features I just mentioned, you're gonna be better off waiting until October-ish, when we finally see the iPhone 5, or what's probably gonna be called the new iPhone, make its debut. We are back here every single Monday with a new episode of Ask the Buffalo. Get your questions in, we'd love to hear from you. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Check us out for the latest tech news, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.